All right, here comes the first three. And look at this three right on the flop. It's come ace, deuce, three. Just amazing. A set for Bill Klein. He has outflopped Andrew Robel. And Robel looks sick. Well, there you see John Juanda well out in front with nearly 4.7 million. And Robo in second place with 3.4 million. The winner going to take home 1.3 million dollars. John, of course, finishing in our first final table. Runner up to Gus Hansen 10 years ago. Get back to the field. And he's 5,000 blinds, 25 and 50. A quick fold by John Juanda. Now Tom Marchese, the big cheese with an ace queen, is going to raise it up to 100,000. Right behind him, Daniel Perper of Illinois with a 10, eight of diamonds. Yeah, we got two amateurs at this table. He's one of them, an options trader. But he did win a $5,000 tournament here at Palacio back in December. He decided to take that money and enter this tournament, and it's a wise decision. Well, he is going to raise with a 10-8. Andrew Robel out. Bill Klein, the philanthropist, going away. So back on Big Cheese. Now what do you do if you're Tom Marchese? An amateur is three bet you. All of a sudden, your ace queen has shrunk up a little. Yep, he knows Perper's a pretty tight player, but you still have ace queen. All in. And there you go. The big cheese is going to try to slice up the Perper. Wow. What a bet by Tom Marchese. He's going to take it down. Yep, and Perper has to fold the hand. Well, Perper went to the University of Illinois as a computer science major. He was the Big Ten Bowler of the Year once, but right there. You might say a gutter ball, Vince. <laughs> well, he took a shot there. This is what happened. Big Cheese had the big hand, and that's going to give him high grain. Well, poor Perper. You know, Perper <laughs> said, I want to make the final table here, of course, because I want my three kids to watch me play poker on TV. He's done so. Be proud of Papa. Yeah. All right, back to this hand. A couple quick folds, and now John Jawanda looks at a pair of kings. Can you believe it again? Just incredible. Already at this final table, this is the third time he's had two kings. We had aces one time also. Well, he has raised a 120. Everybody runs away from John Jawanda. Kings again. Perfect. How did you know? John going to take this. Pocket kings again. Started out in fifth chip position at this final table, but now he's the big chip leader. As you can see, John Jawanda. This is my hand here. It's bad, but I guess you could look at it, huh? was not there to start the tournament. He finally sits down. His hand is dead. He looks at a pair of kings. Now, well, Vince, if your hand is dead and they rule you can't play it, why look at it and aggravate yourself? Just muck it. Well, he did aggravate himself, but right now, he's back on top with a smile. What a poker player he is. He's a chip leader at this point, close to 4.7 million. They were saying, John, that you made the final table of the first WPT ever. During your walk-in, that's what they were announcing. Oh, you're old. Can you imagine? Yep. <laughs> Robel and Marchese were 14 and 15 years old. Yeah. When John Juana made a first final table on the World Poker Tour, finishing runner-up to Gus Hansen in that tournament. But think how young these other guys were. That's right. Okay. This hand, John's going to fold. And now Tom Marchese with a nine, ten of clubs, going to make it 100,000. He is relentless. He powers through poker. Okay, and Dan Perp is going to call with the Queen Jack. Robel out. Just can't get over it. These guys were Cub Scouts when they made that final pick. Look at this. Bill Klein is going to splash with a 9 3 of spades. So a couple callers. Here's the flop. And flop comes ace, eight, deuce. No help to anybody. And the philanthropist, Bill Klein, first to play. He's going to check it. And Casey now. He's going to take the lead, as we say. He is going to fire out, even though he hit none of that flop. 130, Daniel out, and so is Bill Klein. So the big cheese just making his own way happen here with bets and continuation bets and power poker. You already know the World Poker Tour has brought to you life-changing events for the last 20 years. But now it's never been easier to win your package to a WPT destination by going to WPTGlobal.com the online home of the World Poker Tour. Simply click the sign up link in the upper right hand corner. Sign up with bonus code YT38 and get a free satellite ticket to the WPT World Championship. Never taken down the title yet. Can it be his night tonight? We will see. Action going to Andrew Robel. Quick fold by him. Last time we saw Andrew at the final table, we finished second to Antonio S. Fandiari right here at Palazzo. Bill Klein now is going to raise with just a jack seven, makes it 100 to go. 
On to out. Big Cheese going out as well. On to Perper. And Perper, with just a jack 10, is going to make the call. And the two businessmen going at it here. Both have jack high. Flop queen, eight, five. Oh, look at this, Vince. He is getting out chips to lead out and bet into the pre-flop raiser. Something you don't see often. Very interesting. 135. You can see Bill Klein's mind just whirring away here, saying, hey, I raised before the flop. Why is this guy betting? Well, he is confused by this. He only has a jack seven, but what he's thinking is, if I move in on the guy, can he call me? Well, he's going to get away from the hand. Nicely done by Daniel Perper. Taking the pot with Jack High. Yeah, went to University of Illinois. He was a computer science major. Now an option trader and a partner in an investment firm. Successful businessman playing out here on the WPT. Yeah, five players remain here at Bellagio. Bill, first one to play right now. He's looking down at a 7-3. Quickly folds the hand. John Juanda with an ace four. He's got the chip lead. He's got an ace high, so he's going to raise it. Yeah, makes it 120 to go. Tom Marchese out. Now Daniel Perper. Or how about Daniel? He married a wife, and her name is Danielle. What? So you got Daniel and Danielle. You got three kids. Wow. He loves to spend time with his family, so that's one of his hobbies. Poker and basketball, his other two hobbies. I wonder if you can take him in hoops, Vince. I doubt it, huh? Huh? I doubt He's it. He's a bowler of the year. Bowler, hoops. <laughs> I don't know. He looks like a good athlete, actually, really. You're being modest, Vince. You can take him easy in the hoops. Get him on the court. My bones are creaking just thinking about it. <laughs> Look at this. With A6, he is raised. Andrew Roble with a pair of baits. Vince, the pot's been raised and re-raised. What would you do with a mid-pair right here? I believe I'd just muck him. So he's going to get out. I think you have to in that case. Juwanda out as well. So a nice three bet with an A6 right there. And we're seeing some good aggressive play by this guy, Vince. His game is starting to heat up as you see Doc Sands and Erica enjoying the moment. All right, to the action. John Juwanda with a quick fold. Tom Marchese now. He's going to lay down a queen nine. And now it's on Perper with the button and also has a queen nine. Yeah, he's going to raise on the button with it. That's true. Makes it 100,000. Now Andrew Roble behind him with a 7-5. He's going to come over the top and three bet this with a 7-5 offsuit. Yeah, makes it 300,000 to go. Bill out. Now Perper also with a quick fold. So that's how you do it, folks. No hand. Just come right over the top of them and raise them with junk and take down the money. Yeah, the crowd amused by that. They like that. Andrew Roble looking good. That's how you do it with no cards, folks. Incredible. All right, to the action. A quick fold by Daniel Perper. And now Andrew Roble with Jack Seven is going to raise. 1.30 to go. Bill Klein now. Folding. John out. Everybody playing pretty aggressive here. Tom McCasey now with a king jack. I call it trouble hand. Even if you hit a king or a jack on the flop and your opponent keeps betting, you're afraid he's got ace king or ace jack. Good point, but it's not scaring off the big cheese. He has made the call, and here's the flop. Now, flop comes queen jack five, all spades. Tom has flopped a pair and a king eye flush draw. He is checked. And I'm guessing to check raise in case Robo fires at this pot with his jacks. He doesn't, he checks them. Well, the turn pairs the board, pair of fives. Uh, again, Tom checks. Robo now with jacks and fives. And wow. he's going to check. What a check by Robo there. Good restraint and an ace of spades on the river, giving Marchese the big cheese. The nut flush, and he's going to bet it. He figures that Robo's probably got ace high in his hand, meaning he's got aces up here. And we're probably calling. Robo with jacks and fives. I roll him thinking about calling him with the jacks because he just doesn't think Marchese would bet out with two aces. He'd just check it down here. So he's got a flush or nothing. At least I'm sure that's what Robo is figuring out right now. Because Robo's girlfriend sweating him on here. Yeah, but he's up against Thomas Marchese, the big cheese. He's tougher than the chicken parm at the Olive Garden. <laughs> so you got to think twice. 
He's wincing, and he throws his hand away. Good lay down by Robel there. Big Cheese strikes again. Hitting the flush, raking in the chips. Right now, it's still John Jawanda, who is the chip leader. While Casey in the middle of the pack with about 2.3 million. Here we go again. Right back on McCasey. McCasey has a uneventful queen three. First position, quick fold. Daniel Perper now with an eight six of diamonds. They speculate. Daniel came to this final table as our chip leader. He's now sitting in fourth place. He's 37 years old. Wow, he's made it 130 to go. Around to Ander Robel, who has a real hand pair of jacks. Finally, Robel picks up a real hand. He is re-raised, going to 310. Now it's into Bill Klein, who has a little pair of threes here. Well, the pot's been raised and re-raised to him. It certainly has. I know Bill's on the short stack here. Wants to make something happen, but I'm not sure this is the time you want to do it with two threes. All in. Uh-oh. Wow. He has misstepped there. Bill Klein's gone all in. Wanda out. Purper out. But a quick snap call, of course, by Andrew Robel with the jacks. Bill Klein's going to hate it. You saw Bill Wentz right there. Just didn't like this. Hope I'm just over there. Particular timing of him moving all in, Vince, against a raise and a re-raise in front of him in that spot. But I refuse to stand up early, though. Well, he's been aggressive all night. It's been working, but this time just gets out of line. That's actually the trick. Go ahead. That's the optimism. Bill Klein, the 64-year-old philanthropist, in a lot of trouble. I got a straight flush draw on hearts going. What are you talking about? <laughs> Let's pull out some hearts, make it exciting for TV. <laughs> Maybe like deuce four or five of hearts or something, but no three. That ruins ruins the excitement. All right, here comes the first three. And look at this three right on the flop. It's come ace, deuce, three. Just amazing. A set for Bill Klein. He has outflopped Andrew Robel. And Robel looks sick. Five. Oh, I need a straight draw. Could this be the night for Bill Klein? Things are happening so far. He's still got to sweat out a couple cards. Oh! And it's a jack on the turn. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Complete disaster as a jack hits on the turn. Now I'm going to stand up. <laughs> this hand was made for Well, CD. he can stand up because Marchese folded a three. The right hand, right hand was on top of the guy. Bill Klein drawing dead. Going to be our fifth place finisher. I folded a queen three. Well, that's a seven. That's going to do it for the likable Bill Klein. He's such a super guy, contributing the entire 263000 to charity. His motto is every day is a great day, and to give back, give back, and give back some more. Really enjoying life now and giving back, and you got to really appreciate guys like this. Well, he is a generous guy. He's out in fifth place, and he's going over to talk to Jess Wellman. Bill, you came in short, but you managed to double up, make the money, and you may be out, but we've got $260,000 going to a great cause, right? Uh, they'll be split between two charities, right? Um, between Cystic Fibrosis and the Shea Therapeutic Writing Center, which is located in San Juan Capistrano. Um, I gotta say, this is a well-run tournament. Love the World Poker Tour. Uh, the guys I played with, great guys. I've had respect for them. I have more respect. They're great people. It was fun playing with them. Uh, could use one more three, I think, at the end, but that's the way life goes. And uh, all I know is when I grow up, I want to be me. Sounds like you had an amazing time. I hope we see you again next you year. You will. You will, definitely. Thanks again. Thanks for having me. Congratulations, Appreciate Bill. it. Kim, over to you. You already know the World Poker Tour has brought to you life-changing events for the last 20 years. But now it's never been easier to win your package to a WPT destination by going to WPTGlobal.com the online home of the World Poker Tour. Simply click the sign up link in the upper right hand corner. Sign up with bonus code YT38 and get a free satellite ticket to the WPT World Championship. And action going to Daniel Perper from Highland Park, Illinois, first to play. He's gonna fold his hand. Now the chip leader, Andrew, with a king jack of spades. Will pop it, makes it 1.30 to go. Everybody's gonna raise with that hand on the button, especially if you're chip leader. Now John Chawanda has looked at only one card, I believe. It's an ace of hearts. It's not a requirement to look at two. You don't even have to look at one. Just get your chips in there. Yeah. We play with guys, man. It's a bet in the dark. That is true. 
400,000 with just seeing the ace. Well, this way you got one to sweat in case the guy calls you. Tom or Casey out, and Andrew with the, will make this call, so peaky peaky time there for John. Flop comes up, queen, eight, three. Here we go, John. Squeeze it out. It's a jack of clubs. Nothing hitting on that flop. He's first to play. And he's got the best hand with ace high, but do you lead out and bet? Of course you do. Betting 435. If your opponent raises you, what do you do then? And Roble is going to respect that bet. He folds. A good continuation bet there by Juwanda. See two cards. That looks like you want to show one card at least. No, I want to see two cards. <laughs> John, I forgot. He is giggling like a man that had just ace high. Macau style. He says it's Macau style. Both John and Roble have been down to Macau to play in those ultra high stakes cash games. All right, right back on it. Action on John. He's going to look at. Oh, he's doing it again, Mike. Only one card. Again, John Juana just looking at Ace has raised to 145 timeout. Oh boy, there could be big problems. Daniel Perper has picked up a real big hand. Pair of kings. Perper, the option trader, 37 years old, family man. Well, he's on the short stack, man, so I'm expecting him just to come over the top and probably just put it all in. Come on. That's exactly what he's doing. He has gone all in. Roble out. Well, John looking down at the second card now, the Ten of Diamonds, so he's got Ace-10 suited. Yeah, not a bad hand. Yeah, but do you want to put another 1.3 million in the pot with this hand? When your opponent's all in, he could have Ace-Queen, Ace-King, where you'd be dominated. Your best hope is if he's got, like, two sevens where you're in a race, but pretty big gamble to take. I would have liked my hand better if you do a big blind. But I don't think I can fold this, and especially this suit. <laughs> it looks like he might get sucked in. And yes, he right. does. He is making the call. Daniel shows two kings. Oh, John disgusted with himself now. Well, great spot for Perper to double up here. Kings have been holding up, like, so many times. <laughs> that is true. Have the kings that? have been very solid, holding up. Well, Perper says just let him hold up one more time. There's Perper's dad in the audience, sweating his son. And he can't even look. No. Vince, as you know, every time you have kings and you're all in, the guy's got an ace. Seems like the first card out is an ace, but... Don't jinx the man. I'm not jinxing him. I'm not jinxing you, Daniel. Ignore what I said. I think you just jinxed him. We will see. Two diamonds. Here comes the flop. Did Mike Sexton jinx Perper? Not yet. It's a 10 eight deuce. Good for Perper. Well, it helps you wind a little bit. He's got two tens now. But Perper well out in front with the two kings. Staying stoic. Here comes the turn card. Eight. That pairs the board. Also good for Dan Perper. Well, Perper in great shape to double up here and make a race out of this thing. There's John Juwanda's family hoping against hope. That Ace of hearts. John should hit. He says ace of hearts. And he gets and an ace of hearts. up on the river. Oh, boy. Heartbreak for Daniel Perper right there. He oh. shakes his head in frustration. Sorry, buddy. Like most everybody would, but good sport. Shakes hands all around, but Vince, right now his stomach's got to be like a washer on high speed. Thank you. Can I can tell you, it is going in circles. Got to be sick to go out like that. Well, the pain continues here at Bellagio. He'll pick up 393,000. He's going over to talk to Jess Wellman. Dan, you got it in with the best of it, and it, it just didn't work out for you. But you have to feel good about how you've done in this tough field, right? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think I played really well. Didn't really have the cards go my way today, obviously. Uh, it was the first real hand I picked up and could have easily doubled up, and instead I'm out. So what can you do? Exactly. Are we going to be seeing more of you on the poker circuit in the future? Um, hopefully. I'm not going to be playing a lot of tournaments, but hopefully you'll see me anyway. Well, it's an amazing start. Congratulations. Thank you. Kimberly, back to you. Here tonight. Yes, let me correct you. Tom Marchese and Andrew Robel put in 200,000. Both of these guys got busted and rebought into this tournament. John Juwanda with a queen jack. First to act. Going to raise. Makes it 140. Now big cheese. Wow. With an ace eight has re-raised to 370. And now Robel. 
just an ace jack. Actually, just the best hand, but what to do? When the pot's been raised and re-raised, you normally just automatically muck the ace jack. You got nothing invested. You could just get out and let them fight it out where one of them might knock the other guy out. But not if you're Andrew Robo. Oh. He is going to four-bet. I guess they don't want me to play. What a play by Robo. An aggressive 25-year-old is going to make it work. Jawanda and the big cheese going away. You know, just a great read by Robo Lair to four-bet with the ace jack. You already know the World Poker Tour has brought to you life-changing events for the last 20 years. But now it's never been easier to win your package to a WPT destination by going to WPTGlobal.com, the online home of the World Poker Tour. Simply click the sign up link in the upper right hand corner, sign up with bonus code YT38 and get a free satellite ticket to the WPT World Championship. Tom Marchese still in the tournament, rebought in the second day also. so. Uh, neither one of these guys were going to buy back in. They both decided to do it, and what a prudent decision it was for both of them. Well, look at this hand, Mike. Oh, my goodness. A raise by Jawanda. And now Thomas Marchese picks up aces. The best hand in poker. Watch Master Big Cheese go to work here. He's looking real serious. This is kill time. Let's see the raise. Yep, 3.45 to go. He's just hoping Robo four bets this time like he did the last hand. Won that pot without a flop. But... Robo's got queen jack of clubs. He would not want to get out of line here. Oh, but he is going to lay it down. Good for him. Now it's back on Jawanda. Yeah, you'd like to see a flop with this kind of hand. But... Jawanda could afford it, but no, he's going to make a great lay down. Doesn't want to get more involved. And the big cheese, Tom Marchese, not getting quite the action he wanted with Ace. Sam, why didn't you four bet me there? There you see the chip counts. Three players left. Jawanda and Robo, pretty close to the same, a little over five million in chips. Marchese right now sitting in third place. I'm disgusted he couldn't. Knock someone off of those aces, but this time with a 9-8, going to make it 120. I'll tell you, the guy stays aggressive. You're going to take your hat off to him for that. Andrew out, but Juwanda is going to make this call with a jack-9. 8-9 up against jack-9, the flop. Oh, look at this. John Juwanda has flopped a straight. King-queen-10 with two spades. And he has checked it. Does Marchese make the continuation bet like he's been doing all day? There's your answer, yes. And he's not going to like it. 175, Juwanda flop in the straight. There's the thing of beauty. You dig the hole. You put the leaves over it, Mike. You wait for the sucker to fall into it. Well, Juwanda's just thinking, do I just call him here and let him lead again? Or do I just go ahead and raise here and hope he's got something like kings and tens or an ace king? Or he's going to stick it all in there. He makes it 520 to go. Big cheese folds. So there you go. Just flop a straight, push cheese out, take down another pot. He shouldn't show me a deuce. Yeah, the big cheese looking discouraged here. His chips slipping away. John Juwanda looking good as three players remain here at the WPT Super High Roller from Bellagio. Stay with us. We're coming back with more action from the World Poker Tour. 36 former Olympians in the O Show. Well, Mike, it's incredible. You know, Scotty Wynn actually was one of those divers before he started playing poker, of course. <laughs> I don't think so, Vince. <laughs> Scotty with the gold chains, and oh, he was great back <laughs> He'd in the never day. get up from the bottom if he went down with the chains. The felt we go, the big cheese, Tom or Casey, first to act, and he is going to raise, makes it 120 to go. Andrew out. All these guys have been at multiple WPT final tables. This John Juwanda, seventh final table. He was at our first ever final table in season one. We finished second to Gus Hansen there. John's call with queen three. The flop comes up, king, king, nine. No help to either player. John is going to check. Well, here comes the continuation bet that Marchese makes 100% of the time. 70,000 with just ace high. But look at this. The savvy veteran 
Looks like he's getting out raisin chips, Vince. What? So good. Was just a queen three off suit. Well, perhaps. Inquiring how much? John Juwanda? Unbelievable. Oh, he is gonna raise. What a play by Juwanda. Makes it 150 back into the big cheese's face. Oh, you gotta love Marchese. He just feels like he's being had here. Yeah, still got ace high. You think to yourself, wait a second, if Juwanda really did have a king, is he gonna re-raise at this point? Probably not. So maybe he's onto something, maybe he's gonna pop it. No! He's gonna believe John Juwanda, and Juwanda's gonna take that pot with the bluff. That's the first checker is that I should have done something about. Hmm? Like what? Like not folded. In case he realizing his pocket was just picked there. It was a tell when Juwanda deliberately showed the camera he was bluffing. Beautiful. 